So we've all seen the insane power of the M1 MacBooks. So here are four reasons why I'm switching from the MacBook Pro 16 inch to the MacBook Air. Let's go. So for reason number one, it's actually power. It might surprise you, but between the 16 inch MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air with the M1 chip, there's almost no difference in discernible power. Day to day, there's no difference. The only difference is that the MacBook Air never gets hot, never makes a peep, even when it's rendering 4K video. It's incredible. So the power for me is one of the reasons why, for me, I can keep the M1 because previously buying the MacBook Air, I've had so many problems in terms of, you just turn it on and the, the thermals go, it's crazy. The second reason, as I kind of touched on in the first reason, is the thermals. Thermals and noise are very, very, very important to me. I don't know what it is, but I hate when the fans of a laptop come. It's just that word, I just hate it. Especially when you're not doing anything when you're just browsing, when you've just turned it on. I just, it, it just really, really grinds my gears. <sighs> and that's where the MacBook M1 really, really delivers. Silent. It just makes working so serene. When you're just sitting down on a couch, just typing something, it just feels calm. There's no, no fan noise. It's not heating up your lap. I mean, I have to say it is winter time in the UK, so you know, a little bit of heat would have been appreciated, but jokes aside, it's not heating up your lap. It's just so calm and serene to work with. Another reason why I'm trading in the 16 inch MacBook Pro for the M1 MacBook Air is because Intel chips, I think will lose, start to lose their value pretty quickly. Because I think when once the wider public really try the M1s, they're gonna be sold. At the moment, it's probably us nerds who are just kind of geeking out over how good these chips are. But once the wider public, the people who don't change their laptop every year or, <laughs> or every other year, once they get their hands on this, Intel MacBook prices are gonna really, really dip. So I think it's probably best to get rid of your Intel Macs right now if you are early adopter for the M1s. Because the, at the end, all the apps actually work at this point. Well, not all of the apps, but they work well enough that switching shouldn't be too much an issue. And the fourth reason, now I've always been seduced by the air. When Apple in, I think it was 2018, they dropped that video of the new MacBook Air with that kind of new form factor. It got me, it got me. And I got one and I was very disappointed because of the thermals, like I mentioned before. But the aesthetics of the MacBook Air now combined with like the power of like a 16 inch MacBook Pro, ah, it's got me, man, it's got me. There's, there's nothing else I can really say. It's just the aesthetics for me. I like the form factor. It feels nice to hold. Typing it is a dream. Ah, what can I say? What can I say? So if you're thinking about downsizing from a bigger laptop, whether it's a PC or a Mac, this MacBook Air is the one to go for. I would actually skip the MacBook Pro. The Air is the one to go for. The only thing they missed out on, this for me is the perfect laptop now. The only thing they missed out on is obviously thinner bezels, you know? Imagine if you just have thinner bezels and the screen is actually 14 inches. Then it's it, that's it. That's, that, that's, I mean, I think it's a perfect laptop now, but after that, it's game over. It's game over. It's game over.